How do people fall for catfishing on dating apps? To find out the personality, you have to meet in person and get to know them. A couple of chats won't reveal shit. Hell there are people who unmasked their real personality after the other party has committed to be with them. Because it's pretty easy to just pretend to be someone you're not, and most people aren't autistically reverse image searching every new partner's images just to check if they are lying. The question assumes that catfishers have no social experience and you would immediately tell that they are scammers, which may not be entirely accurate. How would you determine if someone was a catfish or not? ID guarantee that the things you look out for could apply to real people as well. This is bait. OP is an incel who is trying to get people to admit that being attractive makes dating easier, because he believes it will prove him right. He's a loser and there's no point in commenting here. Desperation. If someone really 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 wants something it makes them vulnerable to being tricked. Based on your comments and personality I think you were the catfish. Up, you've got like a string of bad takes in this thread starting from this weird assumption that people can determine personalities from a photo and then going downhill from there. The underlying implicit suggestion that dumb people deserve to be scammed is troubling. What the heck? Isn't catfishing just using someone else's photos? How would their personality make it obvious the photos aren't theirs? The same reason people fall for you want a free iPhone scams. They are not that bright. And they only go for looks and not personality, so they aren't paying attention to that. Some people make it their life's task to be as convincing as possible to scam people out of their money. Unfortunately some people get really good at it and mix that with increased loneliness and you've got a pretty potent mix there. Simple, people who catfish tell you everything you want to hear and show fake pictures of attractive people. Scammers are good at scanning man. If they weren't people wouldn't get scammed. People go to some pretty extremes sometimes. I got catfished once by a girl that used her sister's pics and even had her send some snapshots to keep things believable. When I met her it was fairly obvious that it was a catfish. The girl I thought I was talking to was thin and attractive. The girl that showed up was built like Shrek and not attractive. When you just see pictures, you think you are getting what is being advertised. The person could be a great match interest and personality wise, but they know you wouldn't swipe on them with their appearance so they hope that you just look past that. Some people do, I am not one of those people. I guess we underestimate people's loneliness and stupidity for some. Never underestimate loneliness and desperation. Sometimes truths can be hard to accept. I'm a pessimist, so I never believe anything that may even be a blessing. It's just, pure poor mental health with how boomers essentially believe celebrities are messaging them, when the profile has only 20 friends, and the alleged celebrity is asking for 4,000 it's literal insanity to fall for the scam at that point. I'm far from beautiful. But I don't even believe it if a man messages me claiming to have a driver's license and a car anymore. People have grown resistant to sharing social medias or video chatting before meeting. I have a rule where I don't leave my house unless I video chat prior and see you. Beware of people using old photos and photoshopping their bodies. I got to know my friend got scammed by two fake accounts. He was stupid enough to pay them money for webcam shows which never happened. His reply is that he was horny. Horny ass, lonely ass, or both. Most people who fall for catfishes are extremely desperate or have big mental struggles. And let that be the people a catfish will prey on.